Hi all, in this video, I'm going to introduce a mobile phone application it's called Space Graph AR. It is an augmented reality application. It is created by NASA Jet Population Laboratory. This is a stunning education app uses native mobile augmented reality to bring space graph explorers from across the solar system to whatever the space you are in. We can find a flat surface and view interactive 3D model right in front of us scale to tabletop size or in the true to life proportions. We can take the pictures with the space graph in our favorite environment and explore detailed info about the fascinating missions. This tool is an excellent for budding astrologists, teachers and space enthusiasts. Bring NASA's journeys of explorations to life in the classrooms, home or anywhere. Let it join with me for the demonstration. As part of the demonstration, first we have to install the, the Space Graph AR applications. So in this regard, just I'm going to click the Play Store. I'm typing this Space Graph AR. Once you type the Space Graph AR, you are finding this applications with icon. So this is an education applications. And for me, I'm already installed, that's so why you'll find this installed. For your case, it's asking to install, kindly install it. And see, you are finding the rank here. So there is a rank for this tool is 4.0. And uh, still now uh, 382 reviews are there. Uh, nearly 50k people have downloaded this tool, so it's a very wonderful tool, according to me. And after the installation, you can locate this icon from your mobile phone. Otherwise, you can open directly. Just I like to open uh, the tool through the icons. So for this, just I'm moving to my mobile phone application. I already keep something in a different folder. So there is a folder scale called AR and VR. Once I click the AR VR, I have a lot of applications related to augmented reality. The first tool that is called Space Graph, that only I am going to do the demonstration now. So just I am clicking the Space Graph. So once you click the Space Graph, you are finding this kind of interface, Space Graph AR. If you like to start a mission, you can click the Start Emissions. So they given a lot of Space Graph, particularly for Earth base, then the Mars Space Graph, then Planetary Space Graph, then launch, so how we do a rocket launching may happen. And then fifth one is the other uh, spacecrafts. Now, first I'm going to demonstrate uh, the, how the, the rocket launching may happen. For this, I'm using the launch uh, Earth bridge to space. So once I click the center, so we may find the, there's a two rocket launching so the one is called Delta Auto Heavy, then the second one is called Atlas V551. Now I'm going to demonstrate the first one that are too heavy in the, uh, this particular feature. So for this, just I'm clicking the center. Immediately my camera may open. So we have to keep the mobile phone in static. There is an horizontal space to place this model. Use the two finger to scale and rotate the model. Even we have to be minimize this model. Just I'm going to keep the curve, my hand in this particular position. The, yeah. Now you can see in front of me there is a rocket. So I'm just uh, minimizing. Uh, reducing the size with the use of the tool's finger. So with the use of tool's uh, finger, I can minimize it, then I can maximize it. So this option, we can use it here. Now, uh, this is a tool, it, it explaining how the, the uh, rocket launch will happen. So in down, we are finding the stage zero. Just I'm going to start, this is starting stage of rocket launch. This is stage one. So the stage one. So I'm just changing the, the stage one, stage two, stage three by manually. Now this is stage one you are seeing now. Just I'm going to the stage two. Just I'm clicking the stage two. Now this is stage two. Yeah, the stage is to be over. Just I'm going to move to the stage three. So there's the error mark in down. Just I'm pressing this error mark. Now this is stage three. This is stage three. Just I like to move the stage four for the just I'm clicking the error mark. Now it's a stage four. Then I move to the last stage, stage 5. This is stage 5 of the rocket launching. See, so this kind of and this kind of rocket launching, we could not go regularly and monitoring how now it's going on. But this kind of augmented reality, it gives some kind of concrete examples or concrete explanations I can understand from my end. Oh, this is the way the rocket launching will happen. So it's a very wonderful tool. If you like to take a photo, there is a center button. If you click it here, there is this. Uh, taking a photo automatically, there is a screenshot to be taken. So it's up to you whether it's needed or not. Suppose I like to go back, uh, if I like to show the Atlas V5.1 
market to my students just and they can hear and we can keep the mobile phone started the places are um, recognized then after that just and keep in the hand your know, the finger now you can see so now you are finding there is the atlas v551 rocket so in my table so the table is front of me that table i am generating this kind of augmented reality experiences now i like to move to the back so if you go back so we are finding much in the space graph here just i'm going to one by one um, the first one um, just i'm going to show the first one is called uh, yeah so just i'm only the yeah start missions the first one is the earth base there is a five space graph also available um, keeping watch over our home planet just if you click the the earth uh, so in the center automatically my cameras may detect my place just i'm clicking here in the center now you are finding the smap there is a smap space graph now i like to move to the second space graph just i move it here this is called the sentinel 6 michael uh, for this measuring the oceans so it is meant for the measuring the oceans so now you are seeing the, this is here space graph yeah this is space graph it's very big even we can minimize it from our end yeah this is space graph suppose it's not working well just you can press once again and keep the uh, scan is properly and then show like this now you can see there is a space graph in front of you similarly i like to go to the third one this is a space graph is iss international space station so just i'm clicking the center then my phone is detecting just i'm clicking the hand i can minimize this i can minimize this now you can see there is a space graph so i hope you are seeing this space graph now yes fine good so now i move to the next one this is called some grace fo tracking earth water this is purpose to tracking the earth water now you are seeing this in front of me then we can minimize it we can minimize it similarly i have to go to the next one uh nisa n i s a n nisa and keep in the hand so now this is a very big one just i'm going to minimize it here and minimize it here similarly i have to go to the next one this is called uh, swat so i'll scan it here so after scanning it just i'm keep in the hand now you can see there is this yeah, the satellite this is a satellite for landsat so landsat land you are seeing the landsat land satellite it is in front of me it's viewable now you can see so the entire room is surrounded by this so very good so looking good now next i move to the uh, the last one obia that is a vosivo 3 on iss just i'm clicking here and scanning this place just i'm keeping the hand in the center circle now you can see there is a satellite yeah i'm just like to bring the screenshot also now i like to go back if you go for go back in the top left corner uh, you are finding this small arrow that we have to press it here this is for the mass based area and clicking the mass based area uh, if you click the center the space graph is exploring the red planet so like this you may find that the plenty of features Uh, from this tool, so I request all to explore these tools. So this kind of tool is create uh, some kind of interest towards the astronomers, astronomers, or some kind of you know, insights about the spacecraft and all. Hopefully, these videos might be helpful a lot to explore this kind of augmented reality. Let us join for this next video. Thank you all. Bye.